This is Jacob Simpson, Assistant Director of the Cincinnati Type and Print Museum. Today I'm going to be showing you one of our favorite presses here in the museum. And it's this little press, which is called a Kelsey Excelsior. Now, Kelsey was started by William Kelsey in Meriden, Connecticut. And his goal was to make a press for amateur printers. So if you look at this one, it is small in size. And back in the 1940s, they actually advertised a complete printing set which would, would come with everything you needed to start printing. So for about $35, which would be about $350 today, you could actually buy this press along with a set of type and everything else you would need to start printing, mostly business cards, and then you could buy all the accessories to start printing larger jobs. Now I'm actually going to show you how this works. This is a 3 by 5 and when you're talking about the size of a printing press, it's actually the size of the area that you can print. So this is called the chase, and this is what you put whatever you're going to print in. And it can print a maximum area of 3 inches by 5 inches. So if you come on over and look, I'll show you how this all goes together. So you have to take the chase, and then you use pieces of wood to actually space everything out. Now we're going to be printing the museum logo. If you notice, it is backwards. Anytime you print a letter, it has to be backwards because the impression is going to be the reverse of what you're starting out with. Now this little thing here is called a coin, and basically it's just used to make everything tight to make sure it doesn't fall out. So there we have the chase ready to print. Now we're going to actually have to put ink on the press. So I have some nice bright purple ink here. And what you do is you take a little bit of ink and actually draw it across this. And this is actually called the ink well. It's not like your ink well you would use for typing, but it is just basically a thing to hold ink. From there, you take in, run it a couple times, and basically what you're wanting to do is spread out the ink. And you can see as it's spinning, we're getting that even distribution of all the ink. So we'll do this a couple more times. And then we can actually take our chase put it on the press and as you do it the next time you'll see the rollers go across our printing block there. So since it's the first impression I need to put a lot of ink on there. And now I'm going to take a piece of paper and you bring it down, make your impression come off and there we go we thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it we also hope to see you down at the museum real soon